Well, I'm waiting for like um, thingies, demon eyes to appear. I've done a bit of crafting, a bit of digging, extended my mind, going straight down like that. Um, I just got the message, um, you feel an evil presence watching you, and um, I have a horrible feeling, crap, that this boss has come earlier than expected. Um, this is the Eye of Cthulhu, first boss you face in the game, and I'm just going to quickly run along here, light up this little platform. Whoa! Oh, there it is! Um, I plan to fight it near my spawn so that when I die, not if, when, now I need to kill this thing before night's over, so I'm going to start shooting arrows at it right now. It's going to take a while to kill. I will die a lot. No doubt about that. Um, I'm just going to spam. Oh god kill its little baby things. I will die a lot um, doing this, but hopefully I will kill it. Now, um, it's probably a good strategy to use for dodging it and not getting hurt by it and stuff, but I'm not privy to that information. So I'm just going to run around and do my best to dodge it. It's going to keep shooting arrows at it. Slowly taking down its health. I've taken about 300 of its health up at the moment. All these weird, horrible things attacking me. So, um, looks like I didn't need to summon it after all, which is what I was looking for those extra lenses for. I'd have made um, a weird eye at the altar that's just at the start of my mine. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage to me. Let's keep spamming arrows into it. Um, hopefully try and dodge its attacks when it swings in like that. That was a bit fail. Um, um, eventually it will change form, I think. But you'll see that for yourself in a moment. Ooh! I'm glad I just quickly started recording when I got that weird message. So it seems like it's taken it upon itself to summon itself. It, it, the game obviously thinks I've been playing long enough. It's about time for me to face my first boss. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't get really close to me like that. Evil thing. So this is my first boss battle. Um, I'm surprised I haven't died yet, to be perfectly honest. It's spawning lots of its little friends to come and help it along. Um, what I've got to do is just keep spamming it. Okay, it's down to less than 2,000 health now. Ooh, a fallen star. That'll prove handy. No, 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 don't switch weapons. Um, would have been nice if I'd have had some like nice enchanted arrows from a chest by now. But that was not to be. Whoa, hello. Come on. Show yourself. Do not hide underground. So maybe I should lock this thing, because now I can click all up here and it won't do anything. It'll act as if I'm clicking on my items. Whoa, hello. So it looks like my golden app, um, bow is actually doing nice bits of damage to it. Where's it gone? There it is. And there's another fallen star. So this platform actually serves two purposes. It's not quite good for collecting fallen stars and whatnot. It seems like I have a fairly decent amount of ammunition on me. Whoa, 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 don't do that. Don't chase me like that. Let's have a healing potion. There we go. So I've got a timer on my healing potion now. I can actually see how long I've got left for it to until it wears off and stuff like that. Take out these little things. Oh, I've picked up another falling star from the looks of it. Let's keep spamming arrows into it. Wait for it to reappear. Oh, I had to scratch my face then. <laughs> seems to be a good method to use. Oh, and now it's transformed. So it's now the Eye of Cthulhu Stage 2, and this this one's a fair bit tougher. It moves a bit faster, I think, is the only difference it does. And it ch charges at you like that. So you have to be careful. Wait for its charges. Try and dodge them. It can be quite tricky, but I'm thinking my Hermes boots, or boots of Hermes, or whatever they are, might help me out if I just keep the speed up a little bit. And to be able to dodge it like this. There we go, that's fairly successful. Okay, right, it's going to charge at me again. Might be handy if I could have jumped over it then. Looks like it's nearly out of health. It's on the last thousand health now. One more charge. There we go. And it's like every boss battle in all games. It follows a particular pattern. You just have to wait for it to charge. And it'll charge a second time. And a third time. And then you just continue spamming attacks at it. Anyway, it's a healing potion myself. Second charge, third charge, continue spamming arrows. So it's nearly dead. How much health am I just taking off? 14 to 16 health each time. 18 on a critical hit, and it's going to have one more charge. Just try it, mate. Try it. Bring it on. 
So this might be actually quite a good run. I might actually make this without dying, which will be cool. It'll be the first time I've beaten Eye of Cthulhu without dying. And the nice thing is, if I manage to find Demon Eyes, it's nearly dead. One more hit and it's dead. Let's take it out in style. Ah! The Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated. Lots of lovely items there, which I'll explain in a moment. Oh, let's get inside. Get where it's safe. So that's the first time it's actually summoned itself on me. Actually, did I leave any more arrows out there? I'm just going to quickly run up and down. Just check for any arrows. Our oh, little bunny rabbits have spawned. Let's collect all my wooden arrows. Whew. Well, oh my god. Demon eyes. Hello. Where have you been hiding yourself? But a zombie. Die. Yeah, have a boomerang hit to kill it off now. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's hiding up the top, the top of the screen. There it is. Come on. Demon eye. Thank you. Right, so. Get back in my house where it is safe. And have a look at my lovely winnings. Ooh, a fallen star. Distractions left, right, and center. And another fallen star. It is a good night. Lots of fallen stars, which I'll be showing you what I can do with those. Actually, I'll show you what I can do with those first. I've got a whole bunch more in one of these chests. There it is. So now I've got ten fallen stars. I should be able to craft myself if I hadn't put it back in the chest. Get these out of the chest. I can make a mana crystal, which is a bit like a heart crystal. It gives me a little bit of mana. Now, I don't have anything I can actually do with those just yet. So anyway, let's have a look what we've got. We've got some demonite ore, um, corrupt seeds, some potions, a mushroom. Um, I was actually just crafting myself some iron chains there. Uh, right, let's head down here, see what we can do with demonite ore. Make demonite bars. Make a good set of 17 demonite bars, which we can craft cool items out of. Um, this is what I was looking for make a little watch for myself. I'll make a gold one later on, but for now I'm going to make myself a silver watch, which if I just have it, maybe if I have to equip it, it'll be more better than my depth meter. It actually tells me what time it is to the nearest like 10 or 5 minutes, I think. Anyway, um, we've got demonite ore now. Sadly, not as much as I was hoping for. What's this? A lamppost. Oh wow, I can make lampposts. Um, where am I going? I was hoping for a bit more demonite, to be perfectly honest. Um, we can only craft these three things. So I'm going to make myself a, um, a, a light bane, which is quite a powerful sword. Which is good for killing baddies. So it's 4.30, looks like morning comes at 4.30-ish. Whew! Got a fair few coins, which I'm putting in this chest now. I'm going to put those in there so they're safe. Um, turn that into a gold coin. And probably a whole bunch of copper coins into a silver coin. So let's sell that sword since I no longer need it. I'll keep my depth meter in my random. I've got a chest full of random bits and bobs that I'm using. This one. It's like random items I'm putting in there. My blocks go in this chest. Sorry, I'm being organisational now. Clay blocks, mud blocks. This is um, the bits I gathered from digging straight down. Dirt, I'll sell those. My sand, which I'm turning into glass blocks, which go in a chest as well. They go in a chest that I'm making potions from, so I'll go in here along with the mushroom. If I get some more mushrooms, then I'll, I'll do those. So, corrupt seeds, I can actually plant corruption now, kind of thing. Um, I'll put those in one of these chests, I'll put them in this chest, because I'll be possibly doing stuff with those later on. Um, put my potions in here. I got an invisibility potion when I went looking for stuff. So I'm going to get rid of... Oh, I can trash those, can't I? Trash. There we go. Dirt blocks. Been trashed. Do they... Do I just leave them there? Do they disappear after a short period? Let's sell them to this guy. Just get rid of them for definite. There we go. Right, so I've got a cool new sword. It's nice and fast as well. A light's bane. 
Um, I would go hunt it. Oh, there's a wooden arrow up there as well. <laughs> oh, I've got some unholy arrows as well, which are slightly better for attacking things with. And I've got some more silver coins, which I just got for selling that dirt or my sword or whatever. Um, the dryad has arrived, apparently. Which way is she coming from? You get the dryad for killing your first boss. And I don't know which direction she's coming from. She just arrived. Where's she coming from? Which direction is she coming from? Close that door. There she is. Hello, dryad. Don't know what she can sell. Let's have a look. Um, purification powders, grass seeds, sunflower, acorns, and a dirt rod. Which lets you magically move dirt, which is pointless. Anywho. Um, well, I'm not sure what to do now. I think my next step... I really would like some better armour than this iron stuff. So I might grind off screen for... Now that now the like, LP's moving on a little bit, I might grind off screen for um, better ores and stuff to make decent armour. I've decorated out my house a little bit more. Um, I've put in a little little um, candle and a mug and uh, one of these pink vase vase things. Um, on that arrow, thank you. Um, so hopefully she'll move in when it comes to night time. I'm going to go looking for more materials. I think in the next video though, I'll be heading this way now that I can swim across that huge lake and hopefully there'll be a, a corrupt area which will be something new to show you and with any luck I'll have some slightly better armour on. But yeah, corrupt area and um, we'll be doing the next thing. I can craft another potion out of those mushrooms now. We need two mushrooms and some slime and a glass, I think. A pot of ours. A potion of a thing. Anyway, over this way somewhere. Let's see how, how quickly I can kill this slime. Kill the slime in one hit now. Excellent. Yeah, so over here. Way, 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 way over here. There'll be um, this huge corrupt area which is all blue and nasty and spawns horrible creatures. And I'll be heading down into some caverns. And, um, well, if you're interested, you'll just have to watch the video and I'll show you what I'll be doing there. If you've played the game before, you'll be pretty. You'll be. Blah, 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 can't talk. You'll be pretty aware of what I'll be doing next, with any luck. Although, if I'm not doing what you expected, then please tell me because um, I might have missed something out. Well, I'm pretty sure the next stage, after summoning the Eye of Cthulhu and getting killing your first boss kind of thing, the next stage after that is heading to the corruption area and um, there's things to do over there. I was really hoping for enough um, demonite ore to be able to craft uh, a pickaxe because uh, that's what you use to break through the demonite. Actually that's a very good point. Um, I might have to spam, not spam, um, grind for a couple more uh, demon eyes again because I think I'll need I'll, I might have to summon Eye of Cthulhu a second time to get enough demon eye or to get a demon eye pickaxe oh there's a vulture die so I might need one more lens still to get myself that pickaxe I think, anyway. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what I needed to do instead of making this sword. Even though the sword is cool, ideally I needed the the pickaxe, not the sword. So I might have to summon I have Cthulhu again, kill it a second time. I'll show you that if you want me to. Watch me killing it a second time if, if you want to see that. Just say in the comments, as usual. Um, if I'm wrong, then also please tell me. And um, uh, Yeah, um... I'll continue eastwards or rightwards into the corruption area and just carry on like I was going to before I um, corrected myself saying I needed the pickaxe. But if I don't need the pickaxe then I'll quite gladly go and do that right now or in the next video or whatever. Whenever, wh whatever. Either way, I'm heading home. I'm going to chill, going to relax. I've just beaten a huge eye. Kind of scared the willies out of me. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.